Time now for our UK exclusive with the US athlete and women's rights advocate Riley Gaines, who escaped a violent trans mob over the weekend in truly disturbing scenes at an American university. Now, Riley, you probably remember, first came to prominence in 2022 by bravely speaking out about the unfairness of competing against trans swimmer Leah Thomas during their college championship days. Now, though, she's on a mission to protect the integrity of women's sports from biological men like Thomas, despite being ambushed, physically attacked and forced to barricade herself in a room to escape hateful trans thugs ahead of a speech she gave at San Francisco State. Despite her terrifying ordeal being caught on camera woke, San Francisco University bosses sparked outrage by releasing a statement describing the protest as peaceful and praising the foul-mouthed trans mob as brave. Riley now plans to sue the university after her vile treatment, I'm delighted to say. She joins me now, having fled Woke, California. She's on the road in Kentucky, continuing her tour in defence of women's rights. So, Riley Gaines, look, you know uh, I've obviously followed your story. You've been on this show before. But what happened on Friday felt like a low point in uh, this rise of a violent, hard-left, international trans rights movement. What actually happened? So I was invited to the campus to give a speech on protecting women's sports, which is exactly what I've been doing this whole past year. Um, Of course, this was in San Francisco, California, and that is an extremely liberal city with a liberal college campus. Um, But I chose to accept and I I went and I gave my speech. But after my speech, I was ambushed. Um, I was ambushed by a mob of people within the LGBTQ community. They rushed the room, they turned out the lights and they attacked me. Um, They then further pushed me into a room on that hallway, which is what you're seeing on this clip now, um, to where I was barricaded for three hours and to where they demanded money from me if I wanted to make it home safely. Oh, my goodness. Firstly, I'm sorry, so sorry that you're having to go through this. But secondly, Riley, don't you think that this should actually now wake the world up to the much bigger issue that's going on here? Because... They want to silence women like you. They want to silence women like you and J.K. Rowling and Kelly J. Keene. And if they can't do it by destroying your reputation, they're going to turn to violence. Absolutely. You're exactly right. People are beginning to be eye opened. And I hate that it, of course, has to come to something like this. But truthfully, this is positive for the movement. Um, People will see this and they will see the bigger picture. These people that this mob that I was ambushed by, of course, they resort to violence because they don't have science on their side. They don't have reason. They don't have common sense. They don't have the truth. And when they can't persuade you with those things, they try and silence you. But this does not silence me. It only encourages me to keep talking, to be louder when they want you quiet. It's important to use your voice at a a higher capacity. But this must have been incredibly terrifying at the same time, Riley. Uh, Did you fear for your life and are you now increasing your security as you continue on the road? Absolutely. I definitely feared for my life. Um, Well, they were telling me that they wanted to hurt me, that they wanted to put me in danger. They wanted to kill me. Um, And of course, when you're ambushed in that capacity with the police not doing much to help, you do fear for your life. And I have now increased my security. Even today, I was heckled and charged by multiple people within this community. And reminder, all of this for just saying men should not compete and change in a locker room with women. That is my whole argument. It is not transphobic. It is not rooted in hate. It is rooted in fairness. It is rooted in protecting women's safety, protecting women's privacy. Yet when trying to do that, um, again, it results in violent attacks 
both verbally and physically from from people who it's don't agree with my perspective. It, it, it's absolutely horrifying. Then at the same time, Riley, there's a real movement in this country at the moment against Nike because of the way that they have endorsed Dylan Mulvaney to promote their female sportswear range. It feels to me like yet another woke attack on women and especially female sportswomen. Uh, do you have a reaction to, to, to this Nike deal with Dylan Mulvaney? Absolutely. It makes a mockery of women. That's what this whole thing boils down to. These large organizations and companies like Nike and, and Bud Light and different organizations that promote men in place of being women, they're essentially sending a message to every girl and woman. And that message is to step aside, give up your awards, smile, be kind and inclusive because a man makes the best woman. And that is what Nike is doing. As, as you see in this video, this is a mockery. Women don't look like this when we work out. Um, it's just totally degrading. It's so offensive. So have you joined the boycott of Nike? I have. I have. I have. Um, I will not be buying any more Nike. Anytime I wear a Nike shirt, I cover up the symbol if I, I because a lot of my swim shirts are still Nike. Um, but I cover up the Nike symbol because I by no means want to promote or ever spend my money with Nike again. No, indeed. Well, look, Riley Gaines, you know you have my full respect. Uh, you've got a huge amount of support here in the UK, and we're going to continue following your story over the months and the years to come because what you're doing is so important. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much.